Hi everyone, I am Yogesh Pandey. I have total 11 years of teaching experience and I have done my MSc and B.Ed. And uh, presently I am pursuing postgraduate diploma in school leadership and management. Now today we are going to study about the new topic and that the name of the topic is Wave Nature of Light, that is Huygens principle. Now until the middle of the 17th century, the light was considered to be consisting of a stream of uh, copper cells and that is particles, they were tiny particles and they were uh, said that they travel in a straight lines and they can uh, penetrate uh, through the transparent mediums and they can be reflected from the opaque surfaces and, and then by the middle of the 17th century uh, it was considered that light consists of a wave motion. And later on there was a scientist uh, whose name is uh, Christian Huygens and he gave a wave theory of light. So there were some positive points and again some drawbacks in that also. And uh, later again there was a uh, scientist whose name is uh, Maxwell and he also gave the electromagnetic theory, uh, Maxwell Planck's constant. So such type. So let us study about first a wave nature of light or wave theory of light uh, given by Christian Huygens. So what is it exactly? So, now wave theory of light, Christian Huygens and later on it was developed by the two other scientists and their names are Young and Fresnel. Now what is the wave theory of light? So let us study that. So light travels in the form of longitudinal waves. Longitudinal waves, one example is sound waves also, uh, travel with uniform velocity in homogeneous medium. So the medium will be homogeneous, so light travels in the form of longitudinal waves travel with and this travel with uniform velocity, velocity is uniform in homogeneous medium. Now diff second is different colors due to different wavelengths of light uh, waves. Now different colors of light are uh, due to the different wavelengths of light waves. So uh, different wavelengths they are the main reason, main cause for the different colors of the light. When light enters our eyes we get the sensation of light. This was uh, again said by Newton's also because he gave the Newton's corpuscular, uh, corpuscular theory. He said that when copper, uh, copper cells reach uh, uh, the retina we get the sensation of light. But here when light enters our eyes we get the sensation of light. Fourth point is a material medium is necessary for propagation of longitudinal waves in order to explain the propagation of light waves through vacuum, vacuum where there is no air, Huygens suggested that the existence of an hypothetical medium. He said that there is an hypothetical medium called as a luminiferous ether. But later on what happened? Since ether could not be detected, it was attributed uh, uh, properties like zero density and perfect transparency. So it was said that there is a property of zero density, there is no dense, it is the medium is not denser at all and it is perfectly transparent. So due to these two factors, the light can travel through the vacuum. Now there are some uh, positive points about this uh, successes. It could explain the laws of reflection, refraction, and diffraction, interference and etc. The wave theory predicted that speed of light in an optically denser medium is less than that in a in an optically rarer medium and this is this was experimentally proved. 